Hey everyone, it's Norm here from International Motor Cars, and today I'm going to be doing a video walk around for you on the long awaited 1993 Toyota Supra, which is a SEMA award winning car. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a comprehensive walk around and I'm going to detail the long list of modifications to the engine, the drivetrain, the wheels, the tires, the brakes, the suspension the interior and exterior components, as well as all the multimedia, the custom audio enclosure, and much more. As you guys know, this is a SEMA award-winning car built by a very well-known Winnipeg tuner, and I'm very excited to show you all the details. All right, so first off, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the Super behind me. And yes, I'm reading off a script because there's a lot of stuff to tell you. So this Supra uh, was owned for close to 10 years by the previous owner and it's un undergone extensive cosmetic and mechanical upgrades. In 2014, the owner decided to enter the car into SEMA, which is the uh, Specialty Equipment Manufacturing Association down in Las Vegas, and ended up winning the Tuner Battleground Competition, therefore dubbing this car as the SEMA Supra across Canada. Uh, it did also earn the cover of Pass Mag Magazine, which I've actually got right here. Kind of a little bit cool thing that the car is actually uh, on a very well-known magazine. So that, of course, comes with the vehicle. Kind of a little cool, cool thing there. Uh, in 2016, after the owner did several additional upgrades, he actually re-entered the car into SEMA in a different category and came away with a win in two respective categories. Attention to detail and pride of ownership is evident in every respect when viewing the Supra. Upon taking it into our inventory, we did uh, a full top to bottom motor refresh, uh, ensuring peak performance and reliability at a cost of about $12,000. Uh, the car runs extremely tight, comes fully inspected, no mechanical issues. I'm going to start by telling you a little bit about the engine right now. So to start with, the car has 700 wheel horsepower and 601 wheel torque at 30 PSI, which equates to about 800 horsepower at the crank. It uh, has a Boost Logic Stage 3 single turbo conversion. Um, it uses a precise 67 millimeter billet turbo, polished Boost Logic turbo manifold, downpipe, midpipe, and intake pipe. TIAL 44 millimeter wastegate, a Gretti front mount intercooler, HKS blow off valve, HKS high power exhaust system, HKS ignition amplifier, APR main studs, APR head studs. It's got a sleeper design, billet style intake manifold, sleeper design, dual feed fuel rail, Ross Machine Racing 90 millimeter throttle body, Mishimoto aluminum racing radiator, Titec carbon fiber cooling plate, fuse box cover, and ABS fuse box cover, RKS power system stage three fuel system, uh, ID 1000 cc fuel injectors. It actually cool, really cool fact. This has a fuel pump from a Bugatti Veyron. That's pretty cool. That's probably like, I don't even know, four grand, five grand, that's actually really cool. Uh, Air Motive fuel pressure regulator, AEM EMS V1 engine management, powerhouse racing, polished upper radiator pipe, NLR AMS boost controller, TRD oil cap, and it's got dress up bolts, burnt titanium engine bay bolts. So you can see like literally every engine bay uh, bolt in the car is a cool multicolored titanium. It's, they're literally everywhere, all across the engine, up here, all along the front. So you can see little bits, even the bolts have a ton of attention to detail.
So talking a little bit about the drivetrain of the car, uh, most notably, it's got the Getreg V160 six-speed manual transmission, and that's made it with an RPS Max Series clutch with a six-puck solid hub disc. So desirable six-speed manual and not the uh, laggy automatic that some of the Supers have. So now, moving on to the wheels and tires. You can see these are absolutely stunning. These wheels are actually a custom one-off niche Alpine three-piece forge wheel. I am told these are the only ones in the world custom built for this car. You can see they're a very unique design. And of course, all four wheels are free of any curb rash, any imperfections. They're absolutely perfect. Uh, they are 19 by 13 in the back and 19 by 10 and a half in the front. So very wide um, wheels and tires. They're, of course, of course, mated to a Toyo R888, which is known as essentially the stickiest tire for putting any kind of real power down. Uh, and then the next cool thing is the uh, brake calipers they're, they're mated to are a custom one-off Neo Motorsport Neo Chrome uh, big brake kit mated with uh, chrome six-piston forged billet calipers, uh, slotted and drilled two-piece front and rear rotors, 14-inch on the front, 13-inch on the back, ceramic brake pads, and steel braided, steel braided brake lines. That's a tough one to say. But you can see this car, like the wheels and tires, again, just in another aspect, a lot of attention to detail, and a very unique car in that aspect. All right, so moving on to the exterior of the Supra. Uh, the first notable thing is the entire vehicle has a custom one-off Lamborghini balloon white paint. So in the sun, this car has a really nice pearl to it, very nice. Uh, and of course, the next thing is it's got a full Varus Rhydox wide body kit, which, I mean, just looks stunning. That includes the um, rear wide body fenders, carbon fiber front fender panels, side skirts, this front arrow carbon diffuser, and a front arrow bumper. Uh, you can see, and of course, these fenders are actually aftermarket as well as part of that Varus kit. So. This is a very unique, totally one-off Supra that, again, very deserving of uh, a SEMA award-winning car. Uh, this is a Cybon KB-style carbon fiber hood, which of course they've left just the center bit exposed in carbon fiber, and then did a very nice clean um, color match with the uh, pearl white Lamborghini paint. Uh, up here, these are our custom uh, 1998 to 2002 Supra headlights and they've got an LED halo ring in there with custom there's a custom color control so if you like green headlights they're green if you like yellow headlights they're yellow if you like red they're red so super cool there uh, this car has JDM Toyota amber side markers right here vehicle also has Ganader side mirrors. Don't know what Ganader side mirrors are, but they look cool. Probably a very hard part to find. I'm gonna guess they come maybe only sold in Japan or some overseas market. They look very cool, that's for sure. And moving along to the back, car has a top secret GT carbon fiber wing. Very cool. As well as a top secret carbon fiber rear diffuser with side vortex generators and a center diverter. So you can see all this carbon bits at the bottom. Very cool. It's also got these little carbon bits on the exterior uh, and a big, oh yeah, it's all like a one piece big under tray. Uh, just again, a very cool, very unique piece that just adds to the, the customization of this Supra. All right, so moving along to the back, we've got uh, a full custom audio system which is absolutely incredible. Now, I'm gonna start by saying this was actually built by a Winnipeg company called Wayfab Creative, and the gentleman's name is Wayne Fabian. He is apparently very well known for sound system um, installations and builds like this all across Canada. So the gist of this is it's got a Hertz high energy 
12 by 300 D subwoofer, Hertz digital power series, uh, class D amplifier, Hertz high energy six and a half inch front and rear speakers, and of course the Wayfab creative custom trunk stereo enclosure. Cool thing about this, like I mentioned with the uh, headlights up front, this has a custom um, LED light system built in as well with a controller, which you can turn it on. And if you want to light this up bright green, it lights up green. If you like red, red, whatever color you want, it's uh, on one of those uh, changing things. So it can you know, go through all the different colors if you just want it changing nonstop. And while we're back here real quick, I just want to point out two more spots where you've got these uh, custom uh, color changing titanium bolts. So that goes all through the car, um, doesn't change at all. All right, so talking a little bit about the interior of the car, we're starting from the back here because this has a very cool Bride Japan Stradia 2 Venus seats, which you can see again, the multicolor uh, changing pattern, which matches all like the titanium lug bolts. So it's kind of like a greeny, bluey, purple back to those seats. Very cool. And let me tell you, in person, it looks a lot better than on camera. Um, those are of course mounted on Bride MO seat rail brackets. So they're nice and uh, properly installed in there. Car also has a Vertex King 330 millimeter steering wheel. It's got the Cybon full carbon fiber front door panels on both sides. Mm -hmm. It's got the 204 carbon fiber dash panels, custom carbon fiber door sills down there. And it's got an AEM digital wide band O2 gauge as well as an AEM boost gauge. So moving on to the back of the car, you can see this vehicle has a full custom enclosure for the air management system. This again was built by Wayne Fabian of um, Wayfab Creative in, in Winnipeg. And you can see we've got uh, the custom uh, canister for your air along with these nice gold plated uh, lines for all that. It's a very, let's call it dramatic look to uh, the air management, which just again adds to the um, wow factor of this Supra. The full custom enclosure also has all your LEDs in it, which again, you can match the sound system in the back or the headlights, so you can put whatever color you want on it, uh, making this thing just look absolutely insane, especially at night. You can see this is unlike any other air management system I've seen. Most people just throw a tank in the trunk and that's that. So this is, uh, again, you can see why this vehicle is a SEMA award-winning Supra with the attention to detail like this. And next up, we'll show you the air management system and how the air suspension actually works. We'll show you the controller. We'll show you the vehicle going up and down. And we'll talk a little bit about that. All right, so the air management system is powered by this airlift controller right here in the center, which quite simply, you just press this button here and the vehicle airs out completely. All right, so that's a detailed walk around startup and telling you a little bit more about our 1993 Toyota Supra. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video walk around. As you guys can see, once again, this is just an absolutely incredible car. I'm going to put the link in the video description where you can check out more details on the Supra, a detailed write up, pricing, and all that fun stuff. I want you to do me a favor, click that link right now, check this car out, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of this Supra. If there's anything specific you want to see us do with this car, drop me a comment. We'll, we'll make it happen for you. And as always, if you guys haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so. We're getting all kinds of cool inventory in here. Lots of cool, fun videos, lots of walk-arounds, lots of sold vehicles. This 911's going out. We got the Porsche Macan down there sold. Of course, this Ferrari is sold. That, again, you guys will know that car is going to sit here for a couple months. But we're going to continue to do all kinds of cool videos on unique stuff that happens here at the dealership. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Again, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.
Thank you.